This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman will lose report today, ladies and gentlemen. June 15th, 2024. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, JPL has just announced that we have a very large space rock or near-Earth object inbound. This is 2024 LZ4, and it is very large. This rock is between 85 and 90 feet in diameter, they think, which is as large as a eight or nine story building. There's more bad news where that came from. This is the fastest moving space rock I remember ever seeing at over 21 kilometers per second. So ladies and gentlemen, this rock is moving. More bad news. It's at a huge inclination, which means it's going to be very disruptive if it hits our atmosphere. This hopeful close approach will occur tomorrow on June 16th. They have just released this information this moment, as I will show you all, and we'll get some additional information as we go here. Again, 2024 LZ4 inbound. Now they have this space rock flying between Earth and our moon. However, they don't have a really good idea of where it's headed. They only first spotted the rock here, first observation on the 14th, and today they reported it, as you can see here, solution date 15th. They say that they've actually observed it 50 times over the span of one day. More bad news, condition code 8, almost as bad as it gets. 9 being highly uncertain, 0 being they know exactly where it's headed. We're talking about a very high condition code here. So they probably don't know how large it is based on how fast it's moving, and they probably don't know exactly where it's headed. Although, again, they have it going between Earth and the Moon currently. So, they have extrapolated two pages of data off of one day of examining this rock and 50 observations. Two pages of data. It turns out that it's going to make its close approach on the 16th UTC time, but that will be tonight between about 10 and 11 p.m. on the 15th. Wow, what notice. Now, there is some good news. Although it's going to come twice as close to Earth here as it is to the moon here, 0 0.002 versus 0 0.001, this still means it's going to be about 90,000 miles from the center of our Earth. So this should fly by without a problem, although the condition code is 8, meaning they don't have any idea where it's headed, highly uncertain. Again, with heavy inclination, moving at over 21 kilometers per second. This is a very dangerous near-Earth object, probably the most dangerous one I've seen come this close to the Earth while covering them over the last several years. Again, it's going to be twice as close to Earth as it is our moon, but our moon's about 220,000 miles away. So hopefully that puts some good distance between us and this very large 80 to 90 foot space rock that, again, is as big as an 8 to 9 story building that they didn't see until yesterday, the 14th. And they've given us just a few hours of notice. Large rocks like this usually, usually have several companions with them. So there's a very good chance there's smaller rocks that have not been identified. Again, 2024 
LZ4 inbound for the 16th UTC time, but really between 10 and 11 tonight. And most of these larger rocks do have companions. It's at a huge inclination, moving at over 21 kilometers per second. Also, the fastest NEO or near Earth object I remember seeing. So, there's a lot of things about this rock I do not like. With that said, God bless each and every one of y'all. Please share our video. Please subscribe. And always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you guys.